At the FPNM CETA, each new day symbolizes our commitment to shaping the future of our next generation through innovation, productivity, and serving the needs of all our stakeholders with excellence. Today we are really here to manage the end or the tail end of our very important uh, strategic project that is called International Leadership Development Program. The, the real measure of success is, is the value-added changes that delegates would make um, in their roles um, at work and in society at large. To be part of such a diverse uh, group and learning the learnings um, that you get taught from the people other than what is being taught in the classroom, you know, you get a different kind of engagement and then you realize that as humans there's so much that we can tap on and there is uh, so much that we can actually offer as individuals. So that, you know, keeps me on my toes and it forces me to perform better. And from an HR point of view, I've been able to implement a lot of things that I learned with my team. It brings you in contact with a lot of other industry leaders that are in the program as well. So not only are you rubbing shoulders with textile guys, but you're also with the print and paper. So it's allowing you to network a lot better. I think the ILDP was an eye opener. It was really a, a rejuvenation of one's minds and thoughts, you know? One of the, the big objectives, no doubt, is employment. And this particular business is creating that. It's, it's, it's achieving that specific mandate, actually. In the end, it's certainly a CETA that is, I think, done exceptionally well. And, this, and the college and the Aranda group have absolutely benefited from the relationship and others must do the same. It's worth it. It's really worth it. They must not stop and continue doing what they are doing to help our youth. It makes me so happy to just see them and the, the, the excitement that they feel when they do a garment. It's, it's unreal. It's priceless. I think the FBNM CETA has uh, uh, been uh, there. They've uh, understood uh, that uh, the learning material that was available uh, 20 years ago is outdated. They've gone uh, and they've uh, rewritten uh, the uh, modules to be more relevant uh, to what industry requires now. They are so professional and they've got a really great team um, that have uh, put, that, that they deliver uh, skills to us. Um, and you know, it's just, it's, it's amazing what, they've, what they do for us. Sometimes what we don't realize is that when we're teaching or when you're um, imparting knowledge into people, it's not necessarily just for them. That goes into their families and into their communities. I think I must say that we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the FPNM CETA under the leadership of Ms. Yendi. They have maintained their confidence in us and we are hugely appreciative of their support and guidance, and they have allowed the clothing and textile sector to grow through skills development and through job creation, and it's absolutely remarkable. I would want to take this opportunity to express our gratitude and thanks to the FPMC to, for a quality partner, for being there for us. They are, they go out of their way to respond to our queries, our needs, and in facilitating what they've invested their funds in. Yeah. Like you compare your age, you look at your age, you look at your life. And you ask yourself, like, you see people in your age that they're driving cars, they're buying houses, and you can't because you never had the opportunity. Like, I remember before I left the hotel, I was like, where can I go now? What other industry that I can go to? But I told myself, if I, want, if I say I'm going to go back and study, I'm already 35, I'm married. I'm not going to have that time. But trusting where I cannot see and telling myself I, still there's 
something that I can go out and do there. And it happened to be the Mitchell's Playing Skills Center. That's why you can ask them, I've never been absent here. Because it was like, for me, it was like an opportunity that was open. And I told myself, you know what, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to make sure that I don't lose it. And I, I, I don't know how can I thank them. I don't know what can I say to them. Even I, I was thinking that I need to work closer with them. Um, I think uh, this is an area that we want to improve the lives of people. Thank you so, so much um, for all that you do for us. Um, for all that you do for the community of South Africa, for all that you do for the disadvantaged communities. E. I'm speechless. Yeah, thank you very much. I don't know what to say, but million times, thank you. It is a well run, well oiled um, CETA, and we'd really like that commitment to actually carry on. And I'm very happy, we're quite excited. We're looking forward to have something similar in future. Fiber processing and manufacturing, CETA board, uh, management and staff are appreciative of all the work done together um, with all our stakeholders. Thank you.